y'all, it's Katrina with Paint Meadows. I'm out on the porch, and this is video number two for all the products that I used and explaining how I used them on the little slip chair cover-ups that I did. Um, if you didn't see that last week, you need to go back and watch that because it talks all about what I've done. But I started off with my original little slip cover that I did for an article for Southern Lady Magazine back in 2011. Um, these were on my dining room chairs, and I used the uh, drop cloth fabric, and I cut two strips of fabric, one to go this way and one to go this way, and I stitched them together, crossed them, stitched them together, and covered up the seams with the uh, chenille it. Love this product. You just sew it on and then you throw it in the washer and it makes it all fuzzy like this. It's so cute and it's great to cover up the edges. But these slip covers, I wanted them a little different and I wanted a scalloped edge on them. And so it's, it's a little difficult to do a scalloped edge to get all of the scallops the same. But this is a trick we use in the workroom. We use buckram. We sell this on the website. It's, it's a really stiff paper and we will cut these the size that we need the scallops to be. So it's exactly the size of the, the front flap. And then you figure out how many scallops you wanted. I needed five on the front. So I folded it into five equal sections and I did my scallop on the bottom and it's like a paper doll. When you open it up, there's your pattern and they're all the same. So we use this to make our pattern and our trusty disappearing um, ink pen for marking everything. This disappears after a point in time. Some fabrics disappear more than others. Be sure and test it, because um, occasionally it's permanent, but it's not supposed to be. So I love it, and I mark the edges with that. Um, we use our covered buttons. And let me tell you why our covered buttons are so much better than the ones you can get in the store. This is one that you can get in the store and your little loop is on the disc that inserts into the button. You cover your button with the fabric and this button has no teeth on it. So the fabric's just gonna slip off and it's gonna pull apart. They won't last, you can't wash them. So our buttons are the professional uh, buttons and they have these teeth on them and it's going to grab that fabric and keep it from coming apart or coming off and then the wire for the little loop here is on the inside it's not on the little back so this snaps together really snugly so another thing you're going to need that makes it a lot easier is to have this button form that you place your fabric over it push your button inside of it put the little back on and then use this punch to just push it together and it saves your fingers. It's great. You should really invest in that if you're going to do covered buttons. They're wonderful. Here's our coverlet that we used and I sell these on the website now because they're a little hard to find. They're 100% cotton and they come in a package like this and they're not going to look the same as this because it hasn't been washed. But we always wash our coverlets before we do a slip cover. We always wash our fabric before we do a slip cover and that way if there's any any shrinkage then it's already been done and not after you've made your slip cover and then it's too late it'll be too small so these are the products that I used I'm gonna have a step-by-step -step instruction on our snap guide which will be through the tips and free pattern section of the website but be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel it's Pate Meadows Designs, and you can see all our videos that we do. So go to the website, patemeadows.com, and check under the tips and free pattern section. And be sure and look at the press, and you can see the original magazine article and anything else you need. 